Hey y'all, Irix Guy here, and I want to do an unboxing, and I've always got a UV filter because the first thing I do when I take a new lens out of the box is I attach a UV filter. You know, I don't want to get fingerprints on the lens that I have to wipe off, and then potentially when I'm wiping them, maybe I get some sand or something in my microfiber cloth and it, scratch, and it scratches the lens. This just gives me peace of mind, personal preference. So this is the Sigma 100 to 400 millimeter f5.6 to f6.3 lens for the Sony E-mount system. And you can expand this video's description and then click the link there to find where to order it online. Within this video, this is my first video, I'm just taking it out of the box. Uh, it's worth mentioning the reason that I wanted to, uh, to get this lens, it's got paperwork and all that boring stuff, I'm going to set that aside. The reason I got this lens is that I was using the Sony G Master 100 to 400 millimeter previously, and although that's an optically awesome lens, it's big, it's heavy, and it's expensive. And for my intended use case of photographing and videoing bears, this lens right here should fit the bill. It's a more manageable size immediately when I take it out of the box. I notice that it's a more manageable size and weight. This is the lens hood. We're going to undo all of this. So let's see here. Let me put this aside and then I'm going to get the lens hood. We're going to take it out. I'm going to show you this up close here. And again, this is just the unboxing video. So this is my first video. So at the time of watching this, I may have posted a ton of videos already. So, you know, be sure to subscribe and check those out. The build quality of this lens, and let, let me put this out of the way so I don't have um, I don't have this stuff sitting around here. The build quality of this lens feel, lens feels very nice. It by no means feels cheap. It's kind of got like a hard plastic type material there. The rings are a very nice rubber. It does have a lock. See, I can't move it unless I unlock it. It's got very smooth action and comparing to the uh, you know comparing it to the uh, G Master you know the 100 to 400 millimeter GM this does not have the one of the things that G Master had that was nice is that it had kind of that you could adjust the tension of the manual focus now ultimately a lot of the time when I'm using a lens such as this especially if I've got a bear behind a tree branch or something and I really want to focus on that bear, I'm probably going to go into manual focus. So, you know, with the, uh, with the 100 to 400 GM, you could adjust the tension of the manual focus, which was kind of cool. I don't say, it, I wouldn't say it's necessary. Uh, with that being said, this focus ring feels very, very nice. It's got a good tactile feel. It's got a smooth movement. Uh, this does have a little rubberized piece right here where you can, um, you know, if you take it off, if you want to put a, a uh, you know, the thing where you can attach the lens to your tripod versus your camera to your tripod, you can. Actually, I'm probably not going to because this lens is small and light enough. I mean, it's not, no, no, don't misconstrue that comment. It's not light, but it's very manageable. I mean, this is noticeably larger and heavier than my 24 to 70 G Master, but nowhere near the heft and bulk of the 100 to 400 G Master. Not that that would be a problem unless you're carrying multiple lenses like I do into the back country. And for my use case, the 100 to 400 G Master, although an awesome lens, is just too big and too heavy. So this right here is manageable. And you know what, they didn't, it didn't come with a, uh, let me double check. I was halfway expecting like a little carrying bag to come with this, to the, for this to come with a carrying bag. Let me make sure I didn't overlook that. I mean, no, if it didn't, no, it didn't. Well, so I guess what I need to do is find, see if I can find an aftermarket bag to put this in. Because, I mean, ultimately, when, while it's not in use, it's going to be in my backpack while I'm backpacking. So I want to have something to better protect it. And this not being too big of a lens, I bet there's something out there. Now before, I'm not going to say anything while I do this because I don't want to spit on the glass. So the first thing I always do is attach my UV filter.
That UV filter's got dust on it. It's not good. Get my little blower doohickey. <laughs> just packing dust. I mean, it's not used or anything. It's just got... It's disappointing. Yeah, if you're like me, you don't want a, even a speck of dust. But you can find the UV filter like I'm using linked within this video's description too. Very nice, very compact for such a massive lens. Now, when you put the lens hood on, one thing that people commented about, you can do the push-pull zoom. So a lot of people... We're wondering about this hood, but it's actually designed like that so you can do a push-pull. Likewise, you can do this. So am I impressed out of the box? I'm highly impressed. And let's see if this fits on this way. Yeah, for transport it fits on like that, and you can put your little lens cap on there. Very impressed out of the box. So again, this was the unboxing video of the Sigma 100 to 400 millimeter for the Sony E-mount system. And you can expand this video's description and then click the link there to find where to order the lens as well as the UV filter like I use. Thanks for your viewership and y'all have a good day. Hey y'all, Captain Irix Guy here. I hope y'all enjoyed this video. If you did, please be sure to subscribe. It's youtube.com forward slash Irix Guy. And ring that bell icon when you do to be notified whenever I post another video. Thanks for your viewership and y'all have a good day.